to listen to the little magic trick and this you will do with ace two and a three now don't be fooled right now don't think oh well this is gonna be a terrible magic trick this is gonna take hours for me to figure out no all you need is the ace two and three so they should all be clubs or spades i don't care um i lost a few of my cards so i don't have every single spades every single clubs and stuff like that but what i'm gonna do so you take the three put it right on the top i got a great reaction from my grandma with this and then what you do is you take the ace and you just put it somewhere in the deck you can put the two there too but eh, no and then you ask them to choose a card. And they choose a card, but prevent them from choosing the cards that you have. So in this case, it's the Eight of Clubs. So again, whenever you do that, right here, so you ask them to put their card on top. It's Ace, Eight of Clubs. And look, look, I'm searching, searching, and I look right for the two cards, the Eleven. I mean, the ace, see ace, the ace right there, the black ace, and then the two. So let me look for the two. two. And that's where the red card is. And you keep looking for that black too. And you know what their card is now. But that's not what part of the trick is. And you just look and look and look. And then keep looking until you find the black two. And I really can't find it. Um. Ah, here. I found it. This is not the right card, but whatever. It's a two of spades. I mean... Okay, then you take their card that was at the very top, you add it into that pile. So they don't really know. And you take those three, and you always want to have it like this. So you take out the three, but you always want to lay them face down so then they don't see it. But in this case, so we're not doing that. We don't have to prevent anything from happening. So they think... Either you have something that's not their card or something else. So what you do is you hold it to yourself like this. So then you put the eight right there. So that's right behind that ace. And whenever you fold it up, two should be there. So then the eight goes behind the ace like that. And the two goes right under the ace. Just like that. Okay. And you place it down. What you do is you pick up two. You do a double lift. What you do is you just kind of push with your thumb, make a little crack, and push up. See, like that? And you just cover it kind of go like this, and, you know, just cover it up kind of. And then you lift two cards, but it looks like one. So it looks like I lifted the two. Oh, wait, I lifted three. Whenever you lift two cards, it looks like one. It looks like I lifted the ace. Whenever I pull it off, it's not the ace, it's actually their card. I set that down and I say, okay, the ace is one. And then I lift two again, and it's the two spades. And then we actually take it and we take off the ace. And then we take three. We do another double lift and it's three. But really, whenever we take it off, it's the two. So now we put it right on the three and we say, okay, now what the three can do, if I snap, it goes to the top. And then I take the two, which is still on the bottom, and we go, so the two does something else. Let's put it on top. And then you just let loose on that bottom card, which is the two, and they just go. And it lifts down, and they say, see, that can happen. But what's special about the ace and you place it in their hand, but it's really that card. But you don't show him it, them it. And you snap. And you say magic pay turns into that card. And so I want to show you a few other tricks 
Sometimes you want to have some long sleeve shirts, so you pop cards out your shirt sleeve. I'm going to work on technique for that one day, but not today. <laughs> no. Um, but one, so I learned this from Rick Smith Jr. That. And you. Whoa, pop it up into. So again, it's Martin Luther Spinner. Spin cards, you know, like that. Just. So you hold it like a Martin Luther Spinner. You take a pointer finger, push it like there. Thumb, just dents in. That. And you catch it right on top of the deck. And, like, you could do this during a magic trick and then it's your card. But here's a really good trick. So, you can do this with two aces or a king and an ace. So, you take the king, but really have the ace behind it, okay? You want to hide that ace because you take your middle and thumb and you put them across the ace and the king. But you never tell them that's across the ace and the king. Whenever you flip it like this, it lands faced up. Whenever you flip it from the back, and there's a face, it flips, and it's face down. And then you just lift that. And like, okay, it's still a king. And then you snap that card. Or you can do something else than that, but that's just almost it. One more. And you take your fingers, kind of like, in a really weird way. I thought this was weird. And you take your middle and pointer. And what you do, look. Middle pointer and ring, and they just, and this is my ring, middle, under, my pointer right there. And then, whenever you feel like it, you pop cards like that. So then, all you're doing is that. One card's onto the deck. I can hold, like, here, and kind of put it through there. But what I really love is pop-up card one, where you can catch it on top of the deck. And you can do that repeatedly, over and over, as many times as you like. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to, you know. So listen, that's it for today's video. Bye. Hey, watch out for some new videos on Magic Cruise. Actually, I have one more matter. You know, one more. So you ask someone to pick a card, any card. And whenever they pick that card, you actually let this be a little loose. Then you could drop it almost. Then you use it to flip over that card. And whenever you see it, okay, in this case, eight of spades. And it doesn't matter if you see it. And then you flip it over. But then you release that bottom card. So it looks like their card, but it isn't. And then you take that card off, and you put it in the deck. But it's not really their card. Again, you put it in the deck. And you want to put it like this so then you memorize front and stuff. And you don't get mixed up between that and that. So then you keep it in the front. And then what you do, you pick, ask them to pick a number between 20, 10 and 20. And usually say it's like yeah, 15. How about that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Wait, those are supposed to be face down. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And now their card. Straight at the bottom. Get you wrong. Wait, is there a card still in here? Nah. Okay, that was just a book for a second. I thought that was true. I was like, shoot, my brother's on fire. Look at this. So you do this as like 
cool thing maybe and then you can attach another rubber band that's kind of like a boat something or you can do this and then now you hook it on your thumb you can use it for magic tricks maybe or you can go like that and it goes around your hand but it magically just peels off so you want to see a real magic trick i want to almost show you Look. <gasps> Did you see that? It popped onto my hand. I'll show you how to do this. So you take it and you put it like that. And your thumb comes over and it hooks it around these. But then you make the perfect loop to put it like that. And then it just flips over to the other hand for some weird reason. Maybe it's because this part has full, but... This part has halfway full. And then, go to this. And it, since you put it under here, it just, it just kind of rolls off by its own. But here's one more. So I've, so listen, this rubber band is not on my wrist. I didn't just put it on my wrist. I have many rubber bands under the table, kind of. Uh, I just sucked the rubber bit. So that works. And you twist it. And it goes against here. It's like that. And you pull the loop. Pull it up to your nose and you go. But shoots on her wrist. Look at that. Um, uh, I'll show you. Actually, no. Nah, I'm good. So, bye guys. This is the end of the bit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Bye.